so obviously the issue now isn't where to get a vaccine. It's instead, do you want the shot at all? There are a lot of reasons people are choosing not to get vaccinated, including the risk of infertility. Tonight, though, we're getting answers as to why, whether you should be concerned about these things. Raj Mathai joins us from home. It's understandable that people have a fear of vaccine. A lot of people do, but there are also some myths out there. Yeah, there are, and we get it, the vaccine, the fear of what, to, what comes ahead. We get that. Throughout this whole process, though, Jessica, we've had the ability to turn all of our questions in these last, what, 12 to 14 months over to the COVID experts at UCSF. These are experts there that are helping the entire country, and we have them in our own backyard. And yes, there are concerns, whether it's the needles, people don't like getting jabbed with the needles, or perhaps just the side effects and the politics of it all. We can't help you with the politics, but we can debunk some other information and clarify some of the medical concerns. We'll start with that second dose. Have you heard about it, right? I just had mine last week. Yes, I was lethargic for about 24 hours after, but other people you talk to, no side effects at all. That second dose is crucial if you wanna greatly reduce your chances of a severe COVID infection. I really hope that people think that it's going to be uh, a very minor trade-off compared to, you know, months and months of uh, getting ill or long hauler syndrome. Um, but I do understand the fears that people have, and maybe time is what it takes for people to feel comfortable enough uh, to go out and get that second shot. Can you debunk some of the theories or misinformation that might be out there in terms of women getting vaccinated and how it might impact um, their fertility or infertility? Is, is there any basis to this? Yeah, so there's no evidence for the impact of the vaccine on fertility. Uh, it's not a live vaccine. Uh, we don't think that uh, anybody fertility, either sperm card or eggs is affected. And in fact, Multiple people in the original trial, the phase three trials in all of the companies that have undergone emergency use authorization so far have gone on to have kids. In fact, uh, what we've realized since giving the vaccine out is that uh, the, the good fighting antibodies uh, when a mom is vaccinated actually goes to the baby. In the first few months, the baby can't develop any antibodies uh, on its own, so it relies on the mom's antibodies. So if the mom gets a vaccine, it helps the baby in that period of time when the baby can't get those fighting cells. So there's actually many reasons to get the vaccine if you're planning a family rather than the opposite. Just a very clear, clear guidance there from Dr. Chin Hong, who's been working with COVID patients since day one in San Francisco. There's also an update now, a realistic update when it comes to the outlook. There is strong likelihood that we will not reach that herd immunity of 70 to 80 percent vaccination rates in this country. So that means COVID is here to stay for at least a couple more years. And that means getting that COVID, that getting that COVID vaccine could be your life and death decision. Guys, we'll send it back to you.